Hey guys, welcome to this SPSS Assassin video on how to complete the paired one-way ANOVA. So we're going to use these tests when we have one group of participants that is exposed to three different conditions. So it differs from a paired t-test, which we'd use when we only have two conditions. So um, we might imagine that you and your classmates have three exams coming up or you've completed three exams, let's say, and before each of those, you all went out together and you did something different. So before the first exam, you went out to dinner together. Uh, before the second exam, you decided to all stay in and get an early night. And before the third exam, you decided to go out for a drink together. So we might ask, you know, what's the effect of these pre-exam activities on exam results? So these are the results depicted in these, these columns here. So to investigate this, we can go to the variable view, and we can type in each of the different levels of this variable into three separate cells. So we'll type in dinner into the top cell, then early night, um, into the second cell. I notice that I use an underscore between the two words because we're not allowed to use spaces in these cells. And I'll type in drinks into the third one. And we can just say, we can use this measure column to indicate that these are each scale variables. Okay, once we've done that, we can go to data view. And we can see that these different types of pre-exam activity have appeared at the top of these columns. And we've got the data in this table here, so we can just copy and paste it. So we've got the dinner um, associated exam results there, which we can paste into here. The early night results. And the drinks results. All right, so now we're ready to run the analysis. So we go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Repeated Measures. Um, and so we need to give our variable a name, so let's just call it Activity. And it has three different levels because there were three different conditions preceding the exams. So we'll type in three, add, and then click Define. And now we just need to allocate a number to each of these levels. So dinner can be number one, early night can be number two, and drinks can be number three. And you can use the options window to select that you want descriptive statistics. Okay. All right, so this is our output. So we can take a look at this this table here, more to these tests of, of uh, sphericity, and we basically just want this number here to be non-significant, so we want it to be above 0 0.05, that is the case, so we're good to move on. Um, and since sphericity um, was assumed, we can look at the sphericity assumed row within this table. And this is going to provide us with most of the results we need. So we've got an F value and a significance value, and we've got degrees of freedom value values. So we just need to report these. So I've prepared an example of how you might do this. So we just describe in the first sentence why we did the test. So we're interested in what the effect of pre-exam activity was on, on exam performance. And of course, since uh, this value is below 0 0.05, we can refer to it as being significant. So we can say that there was a significant effect of pre-exam activity on exam performance. And so we've got the p-value here and here. We've got the f-value here, and so this has been rounded to two decimal places. And we've got the degrees of freedom values, which are here and here. So that's really all you need to know. Um, it's conventional to follow up certain ANOVAs when you get particular results with t-tests. So we could follow up this 
ANOVA with pair t tests to find out whether the difference between the levels is derived from you know, differences between the dinner and early night scores or between the dinner and drink scores or between the early night and drink scores. So if you're interested in finding out how to do that, take a look at our other videos on how to complete paired samples t-tests. Okay, thanks for watching.